Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's tutorial we'll be making the classic granny square. It's a beginner friendly pattern and I have the written pattern on our blog so you can check the link in the description box below. For the materials you're going to need any worsted weight yarn, a darning needle, 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. To begin you're going to make a magic ring you can either do the common magic ring and then chain 3 but I don't prefer this one for a complete beginner because after you've worked your square and later on your your magic ring will come off if you don't weave it in correctly so if you're a complete beginner I'll prefer you chain 3 or you chain 4 and then join it with a slip stitch to the first stitch to make your magic ring so chain four and then go in the first stitch in such a hook yarn over pull through that stitch or the chain and then pull through the loop on your hook and in such a hook in that space or the ring that you've just created with the chain four then work a slip stitch then chain three go in that same ring work a double crochet then another double crochet. So this chain three will count as your first stitch, then two stitches. So you have three double crochet stitches, then chain two and go in the same ring, work another three double crochets. So one, two, and three. So you have two sets of granny stitches. Then chain two, work three more double crochets in the same space or the ring, the magic ring. Chain two and work your last set of the granny stitch or three double crochets. When you're done with four sets of three double crochets, you're going to chain two and join your round with a slip stitch to the third chain. So remember our chain three here to begin with. So we had one, two, three, and on that third chain, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. Then slip stitch in the next two stitches. slip stitch in the chain 2 space and your round 1 is complete. To proceed to round 2 you're going to chain 3, the chain 3 will count as a stitch, then yarn over, work 2 double crochets in the same space and since we are working on a corner so every granny square has four corners. We have this one, two, three, and four. So those are the only spaces you're going to work our increases. So in every chain two space, you're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then proceed with your pattern. When you reach the next chain two space, work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So after chaining, after working three double crochets, chain two, and then play three double crochets. Since the next space is a chain two space, you're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. After working your two sets of three double crochets here, 
remember we didn't chain one between the three double crochets so do not chain any go in the next space work three double crochet then chain two and add three more double crochets so in this next space you're going to repeat this same pattern by working three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then we'll join our round proceed to round three do not chain in between these three double crochet in the next one here at the end of round two you're going to work a slip stitch in this first stitch it is chain three so count the third chain one two three then slip stitch in that third chain slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch then slip stitch in the chain to space for round three we're going to start by working an increase because this is a corner space so chain three count as our first double crochet double crochet in the same space and then another double crochet chain two work three more double crochets in the same space so in this round three we have another space here between our increases so this is an increase this is an increase and then there's space here so in that space you're not going to work an increase because it's not a corner space so go in that space and work three double crochets just a normal granny stitch so one two and three in this next space since it's a corner space work three double crochet chain two three double crochet so in this next space since it's not a corner space you're going to place only three double crochets so go ahead work three double crochets and in this next chain two space it's a corner so work three double crochet chain two three double crochet in this next space work three double crochet and in this last corner space work three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then finish it off with three double crochet in this space then i'll meet you when you joining our round and starting the next round at the end of your round three you're going to slip stitch in this first stitch identify the third chain then slip stitch slip stitch in the next two stitches then slip stitch in the next chain two space chain three and repeat our previous round so for this round four you're going to work your corner increase here by working three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then in this next space they are not corner spaces so you're going to, so you're going to place only three double crochets in this first space three double crochets in this next space and then when you reach your next corner work three double crochet chain two three double crochet and then in these next two spaces only work three double crochet three double crochet then when you reach the next corner work and increase the next two spaces place only three double crochets then three double crochets work and increase work one set of granny stitch which is three double crochets and then another three double crochets then join with a slip stitch at the end of your round so go ahead work round four and then i'll meet you when you're joining it at the end remember the chain three count as a stitch so you're only going to place two more double crochets 
then chain two and work three more double crochets in the same chain two space. So proceed and I'll meet you when you're done. I went ahead and finished my round and this will mark the last round for this square but if you want to make a bigger square you can go ahead and repeat that pattern always remembering to work an increase in this chain two space or the corner space you only have four corners so those are the only places or the spaces you're going to work an increase and in these other spaces only place three double crochets do not chain one between the three double crochets just work your increase then go ahead in the next space work three double crochets work three double crochets work three double crochets then an increase and repeat that all around until you have your desired rounds of the granny square so when you reach the last round you can either join it by slip stitching in this third chain and then slip stitching in the next stitch cut your yarn and that will be done but I love a more neater look and I prefer joining it with the invisible join. So I'll go ahead and cut my yarn, pull that yarn through, then with your darning needle, you're going to feed your yarn and this is what you're going to do. You want to skip the first stitch or the chain three and then insert your needle in the next stitch from the back to the front pull through then go in this last stitch insert your needle in the front loop and then this loop at the front so we have two front loops so you're going to insert your needle in those two front loops pull through And you can see your stitch forming here then go in this third chain just insert your needle in that third chain and let it pass to the back so that will be our invisible join then you can go ahead and weave this one here at the back After going a few rounds with a tail, you can go ahead and just cut it off. Then go ahead and weave this one also at the center. If you started with a magic ring, you're going to you'll need to leave a longer tail to weave it in just to secure it properly. But if you go if you did the chain four, you don't have to because the chain four will fasten it. You'll just weave this one. To hide it here at the back. Then cut the yarn. So this is all for the tutorial and if you enjoyed it please let me know in the comment section below. You can leave a thumbs up and until next time stay safe. God bless you and bye.